8,500 U.S. troops on, quote, heightened alert, ready for rapid deployment to potentially support NATO forces in Europe. Late today, the president holding a secure video call with European leaders. It lasted one hour, 20 minutes. The president, a short time ago, calling it a very good meeting with total unanimity with all of the European leaders. The White House tonight Look at the flags. discussed preparations to impose, quote, massive consequences and severe economic costs if Russia moves. Amid concern over a possible Russian invasion, the U.S. State Department now ordering the families of all American personnel at the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine to leave the country. More than 100,000 Russian troops are now stationed along the border with Ukraine. Some of those Russian Look troops Putin. taking part in... Look at Putin and his crew. <laughs> in Belarus. Here in the U.S. tonight, airmen at Travis Air Force Base in California and Dover Air Force Base in Delaware, loading up military and weaponry to help... Putin said over and over, he don't want no trouble with the United States. This is I want no trouble with the United States. I just don't want NATO in there. That's all. I don't, exactly. I don't want NATO in there. You're too close. And he has a right to say that. With more Russian like troops massing on the Ukraine's border, Navy vessels in the Baltic like Sea, that. and That's Russian fighter jets like heading to Belarus, Belarus, Ukraine's neighbor to the north, the Pentagon tonight placing 8,500 U.S. troops on heightened alert for possible rapid deployment to back NATO allies in Eastern Europe and the Baltics. The United States has taken steps to heighten the readiness of its forces at home and abroad so that they are prepared to respond to a range of contingencies, including support to the NATO response force if it is activated. The president talking with European leaders on a secure video call late this afternoon. I had a very, very, very good meeting, totally in the meeting with all the European leaders. That meeting followed one with his national security team at Camp David over the weekend. Biden could have deployed those troops to NATO immediately, but stopped short of that. I want to reinforce that as of now, the decision has been made to put these units on higher alert and higher alert only. No decisions have been made to deploy any forces from the United States at this time. The U.S. troops, which would be part of that NATO force, would include ground combat units, reconnaissance, and aviation forces. We joined U.S. fighter pilots on a NATO exercise when Russia was building up forces in the Baltics after it annexed Crimea from Ukraine. The flyover over Estonia map just over to the east, to the right, is Russia. We heard Russian pilots warn the Americans in 2016 oh, not to cross the border. NATO saying its show of force was a critical deterrent. But now, with more than 100,000 Russian troops on Ukraine's border, the possibility of war seems greater than ever. And while the U.S. has ruled out sending troops into Ukraine itself, the U.S. is shipping hundreds of thousands of pounds of ammunition and lethal aid to Ukraine and evacuating some diplomatic personnel and families, saying an invasion could occur at any time. But Ukraine's president tonight said the embassy departures were unnecessary and premature and is urging people to remain calm. And Martha Raddatz with us tonight. And Martha, we heard there... It's not 100,000 soldiers there. He got almost 300,000 soldiers there. And he's still moving military uh, equipment over there. They making it very clear. NATO want to move in there. You know why I told you why NATO, NATO is the shadow government military. We don't even know who runs NATO. Who runs NATO? We don't know who runs NATO. You understand? That's just being realistic. This is over. troops on heightened alert the white house said today that president biden and the european leaders are still hoping for a diplomatic resolution david all right martha raddatz leading us off tonight martha thank you we turn be prepared my people don't be scared but this is going to be the cross of the collapse of the of the of the, of the, of the, of the market right here one love variant 